What's up, people? It's your boy Level Head back with another show. About to get into a a, a nice topic. I think y'all will enjoy. So, without further ado, welcome to the Level Head Gamer Show. I was checking out some of the folks I subscribe to, checking out what they uh have uploaded, new videos and whatnot. And I uh, saw that Review Tech USA had just put up a new video, and I want y'all to go check it out and listen to it for yourselves and form your own opinion. Now, I'm a big fan of Review Tech USA. He has some good points. He he real uh direct and real precise with what he say, and sometimes you know, especially with his tech videos, he real good and he he, he explains stuff real well. But this video is more more or less an opinion. Style, style video and his opinion based off of what he's been reading and rumors he's been hearing. Now, the name of the video is uh, Metro Last Light Developer says Wii U CPU is horrible. And he, Review Tech USA, dot, 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 I believe them. Now, he starts off talking about when you consistently hear the same rumor over and over again, <coughs> excuse me, over and over again that. It has to have some type, some sense of truth to it. And the fact that you've been hearing a lot of folks anonymous and a few developers saying that the CPU is slow in the Wii U. It has to be some truth to it. Now, you know, back in a, a few months to a year back, you've been you was getting a lot of anonymous folks talking about how the CPU within the Wii U and uh the Wii U itself is weaker than the, uh, the the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Now, it was a lot of anonymous folks saying that. And then you had uh, about four months, four or five months ago, you had the Tekken developers say that the CPU is slow. And, you know, it's, it's a little slower than the Xbox and the PS3, right? Then, and now you have... This new developer, no, not new developer, but another developer, 4A, who makes uh, Metro Light or Metro Last Light, says they're not bringing their game. They was going to bring it, but they're not bringing it now because the Wii U CPU is horribly slow. And that they don't have, and listen to my words clear, they don't have time to invest in the team that we would be needed to bring the game over. If they was to try to bring the game over with <laughs> the limitations of their team size, that they would not put out the game that they want. It would be a detriment to the game. And they said, we might look into doing it later. But right now, because of the CPU and the slow speed of the CPU, they're not bringing Metro to the Wii U. Now, here's my thoughts and here's my opinion. Now, Review Tech says he believe it because the rumor is consistent. And I'm going to say I believe it too. But I'm going to tell you something. I don't believe the Nintendo is Wii U is weaker. I still believe it's more powerful because Nintendo themselves said that they're focusing more on the GPU. They're trying to alleviate a lot of the responsibility of the CPU and delegate that to the GPU. Now, it seems like folks don't want don't only hear or have selective hearing. They hear what they want to hear. They jump on YouTube. They make a video and they and they they go on a rant about, especially when it's negative news about the Wii U on Nintendo. They go on a rant and they they make their stands. But there is just as much information out there, just as many interviews with legit developers that already has debunked a lot of these concerns. Now, we already know that Nintendo is going with a GP GPU where you embed in the CPU and the GPU on to the same die. We also understand that they're trying to get developers to utilize the GPU and the CPU within the GPU more than the CPU itself, trying to alleviate some of the responsibility that would normally be delegated or allocated to the CPU, they're trying to get those developers to utilize the GPU, which is a new, updated, latest design that can run a lot of the aspects that the CPU used to run. You can do that right on the GPU, and they're trying to get them to utilize it that way and then utilize the CPU 
for other things. So, but that understanding, if I'm a developer that's used to using the CPU for a lot of things and you get a new system that is telling you to utilize the GPU, which is a whole different uh, setup, a whole different configuration, and I don't really understand that, and I'm used to this old way, like the saying says, you uh, you can't teach your old dog new tricks. When you have been doing it a certain way, and let's say for the last seven, because the, the Xbox 360 been out for seven to eight years, and the PS3 been out for six to seven years, you've been doing it this way for seven years, and you have mastered that way. You have mastered even down to PCs. That's the same configuration. The CPU handles a lot of aspects of the game design and the GPU does other things. So if you're used to designing most of, and most of your coding on the CPU and then you have a system come up that tries to get you to, to change or, or, or restructure your thinking to utilizing a GPU to handle what you usually did on the CPU and it's new to you and foreign to you, and especially if you're 4A and don't have big teams and it's also slow, of course you're going to say it's too slow. It's going to make the game worse. It's going to be a detriment to the game. We don't, we don't have the manpower. We don't have the time to invest, which that's what they said. And right now we don't see it as a potential option at this moment. We might come back to it later. But right now, where we stand in our understanding of the system, the CPU is horribly slow and we can't utilize it. Is that not what they said? So what is it based off? Is it based off power or, or is it based off design and the way Nintendo chose to go about the design? Let's look at the PlayStation 3, the cell processor. Was it because the PlayStation 3 was weaker than the 360 or was it because the design of the PlayStation 3 was so different from the 360 if you made a game on a 360 and got used to that way and that ease of making a game when you came to the cell processor and the complexity of the cell processor, it was hard. And when you saw games that was ported over from the 360 to the PS3, they look worse. But when you go look at Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3, God of War 3, and you go back and you try to look at an Xbox 360 game, you cannot tell me that the PS3 is not whooping that tail when it comes to graphics. But if you're trying to design the PS3 game like you design an Xbox 360 game, it's not going to work, right? Right. So let's look at that same perspective with the Wii U. It's a GP GPU, which is trying to allocate more attention to the GPU than the CPU. If you used to design it for the CPU and you don't really want to go through the knowledge and the understanding and the learning curve, of the GPU, of course you're going to say, I can't do it. It's not possible because the CPU is too weak. And the CPUs I'm used to working with allowed us to do all this. And Nintendo CPU doesn't. It don't say it. They never said it was weak. They never even brought up the GPU. Why? Because they know that the design of the Wii U is based off of the GPU. And that's why they said we might look at it in the future. But let's count on... That's counter this argument about rumors being consistent. Gearbox already came out and said, now these are folks that's making alien marines. They already said that the Wii U is powerful. They're very impressed with the Wii U. Matter of fact, alien marines will be the definitive version on the Wii U. We're excited. We're, we're, we can't believe folks is really even questioning the power and the capacity of the Wii U. That's what they said. Ubisoft, I said this in the last video, said that their graphic designer forgot to compress the visuals. Now, they always record in high, high def visuals that you can use these visuals for any Pixar, Disney style movie at the theater. That's how high the level of um, visuals or the art for you know whatever they was working. I think it was Raymond was and they normally compress it to fit it in to you know, play it PS3 to Xbox and of course with the Wii U. But the person forgot to compress the video and the Wii U processed it with no hiccups. They also went on to say that the system is very powerful. They're very impressed. They're happy with it. And then they said also that it's easier. They haven't had as many hiccups. They haven't had to go back and fix as many problems as they did and backtrack as they did on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. They also said that that's Ubisoft. It's very powerful. Then you look at Crytek. Crytek said they got the engine. 
Crisis or uh, Cry Engine 3 running beautifully. They said this a year ago, beautifully on the Wii U. And that <coughs> even though they wasn't bringing anything at the moment to the Wii U, they said that at the time they didn't see it as a valuable or, or profitable profitable decision at the time. Not that the system ain't powerful, but with the user base, they don't know how it's going to sell. They don't see, they, they want to wait and see how it sells. But as far as power, they already said that CryEngine 3 is running beautifully on the Wii U. Down to the CEO saying himself that in his opinion, the Wii U, it, he has high, he said he has very high, a very high opinion of the Wii U. And that, and he went on to talk about the same thing that was stated uh, prior, a year ago. He went on to say that the reason they are not uh, bringing a game at that time is, is because they want to see how it sells. Now, let's get to Retro Studio, which is a Nintendo uh, a developer. And what they're doing now, we all been waiting for what retro is going to release and what they're what game they're going to be doing. We don't know if it's Star Fox. We don't know if it's Metroid. We don't know what it is. It might be a new IP. But what we do know is they're making something, but it's been taking a long time and they, they haven't been showing anything. Then an article came out talking about how retro is been uh, assigned to the task of making a engine to utilize the Wii U's raw potential to showcase the Wii U's raw potential, right? Now, uh, Retro has been working on this and they have been going around with, with Mizumoto. They have been going around showing off this, this, this game engine and the power of the Wii U. And they went to Epic. It's an article on it. You can look it up yourself. They went to Epic. They showed off the engine to epic we don't know what game they show we don't know what they show we know it it was with the new engine that retro has designed now we know retro is a beast they're responsible responsible for metroid prime they're responsible for donkey kong the new uh donkey kong returns these folks you know are bad and know what they're doing with with and know how to utilize uh power they 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 just they just that good anyway they went and they showed epic their engine in whatever game that they had to the point that Epic, they said that Epic has changed their mind and, and is considering bringing Unreal 4 to the Wii U. Now, remember back when we, we heard about Jeff um, from uh, Game Trailers uh, talking about how uh, Jeff Keighley, or however you say his name, said that the Wii U cannot run Unreal Engine 4 on Twitter. And then some of the Epic folks said that that's not true. And then it came out later that they said they wasn't considering bringing Unreal 4 to the Wii U themselves, but it is scalable and other uh, companies can use it. That was before this. Retro went and showed Epic this engine. Now Epic is talking about bringing it over themselves. Now, not this ain't no scaling thing. This is them considering. Even Cliffy B said we are watching right before he left. Uh, Epic, you know, he resigned or left. He said they're watching Wii U heavily. Now, you have just as many developers praising the Wii U as developers knocking the Wii U. Most of the developers that's knocking the Wii U <coughs> only talk about the CPU. They never mention the GPU. And I'm going to tell you why. They don't mention the GPU because they know the GPU is what Nintendo is trying to get them to utilize it. And they want to stick with their formula that they have and what they're used to. But there's going to be a rude awakening. Because once Nintendo and Retro showcase to the world their engine. I hear what Review Tech USA is saying. But at the same time, there's only half the story. There's just as much information out there that you can go search that says the other half. And that tells about how powerful the GPU is in the Wii U and how it can do it can do CPU functionality. And you can bridge that over to the GPU and let the GPU handle all that and then use the rep, the CPU for other things. And until they embrace that design, they will be like 4A. They will say stuff like the tech and developers. But I guarantee you, once we see Retro's engine that they showed off to Epic that got Epic changing their minds about the Wii U. 
this this, this engine will change the mind to the whole industry, and they're going to train them on how to utilize the Wii U properly. 